Hey y'all, Coach Nefi here, looking at the schedule, the calendar for autumn of the year 2023. This is for the fall season, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the dates that fall in the fall of the year 2023. Like for instance, the Memorial of Blowing of Trumpets, which we celebrated on October the 16th. The full moon eclipse helped us to understand the book of the revolutions of the luminaries out of the first book of Enoch chapter 72. So that puts atonement day on October the 25th. And that will be one day we will want to take off work again, October the 25th. But I wanted to bring your attention back over to Leviticus 23 when it's talking about the feast of atonement down there in about verse 31 and about verse 32, where it says that the Sabbath is supposed to start on the ninth day of the month at even, not the 10th day of the month. So that's the extra day. That is the ninth day of the month at even. So the way I understand this, this Sabbath day will start on the evening of Monday, October the 23rd, and will last all the way until the evening of October the 25th, which is the day that we afflict our souls. We afflict our souls on October the 25th, but looking at Leviticus 23, the Sabbath actually starts as early as October the 23rd at even. And then the next feast days is the Feast of Tabernacles, which starts on October the 30th. Now, that is another day that we want to have off work. The festival, yes, of course, is seven days long, but we only have to be off work for the first day of the festival and the eighth day of the festival, which so happens to fall on Mondays, which is the Sabbath day for this quarter. So we will want all Mondays off, but we definitely want those Mondays off. And we remember that this is the year 2023 when we want to be sure to read the book of the covenant. That's Exodus chapter 20 through 23, four chapters. It starts at the Ten Commandments and covers all of what we know as the law. We are expected to read the law during this week. So we'll make sure that we do that. Be subscribed to this channel. We're trying to plan something that will help us to uh, be sure to read through this law during this week. This video is brought to you by the Celestial Clock Calendar. Get your Celestial Clock Calendar at coachinafight.shop or follow the links in the description below. And to get more specific about what we were supposed to do on these days, on the memorial of blowing of trumpets, we were supposed to hear the sound of the trumpet. And if you subscribe to this channel, you had the chance to hear us blow it on the 16th. And that is the start of the 10 days of all. These are 10 days that we are supposed to be in a repentance period until we get to the day of atonement. So these 10 days are to start on the 16th and then they are to last until the 25th when we are supposed to afflict our souls. Now for information on that, we can read Isaiah chapter 58. This affliction of the soul involves doing the charitable deeds for our brother, which is half of what our Messiah told us that we must do in order to survive, love our brother as ourself. Well, the other half is the reading of the law, which we will do during the Feast of Tabernacles, which we discussed earlier. But also during the Feast of Tabernacles, we are expected to rejoice with tree branches and such during that week. That is supposed to be a joyous occasion for the entire week. That's every year. It's just different in the year 2023 when we will actually be making sure that we get that reading done. Just like Atonement Day in the year 2024, we will actually sound the trumpets. And just in case you haven't gotten your celestial clock calendar, here is what it would look like for the fall of the year 2023. You can use the scroll bar below to get closer to specific days. So there are your festival days for the quarter. Um, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to ask them below and I'll see you down there. Shalom.